Am I audible at the back? Okay. Thank you. Yeah? Ah, sure. So today I'm going to talk about uh, how did we build Kula and take it to our customer hands within 120 days. And what are the tech choices we have made? What are the trade-offs we have made during the process? So before that, uh, I am Raj Shekhar. I am the founding engineer at Kula. Um, so previously, I worked for HelloFresh. At I moved to Singapore recently, like three months back, to build the you know, front-end team at Kula from scratch. So before talking about how did we build the product, we wanted to you know, I wanted to talk about what Kula is solving actually. Uh, what the problem is and what how Kula is solving the problem. So, everyone in the room, I think you might have gone through some recruitment process as a recruiter or as a founder who is looking for an engineer or, or a candidate, you know, uh, looking for a job. So, I want you guys to think about one thing which is changing drastically in the recruitment industry. So, I wanted to, you guys to think about, you know, uh, you went and applied for a job in, in a company portal versus a recruiter reaching out to you through email, LinkedIn message, connection request, asking for, you know, come and join, join our company versus, you know, uh, getting a job through referral. So the inbound recruiting is completely decreasing when compared to the outbound recruiting. What inbound recruiting is candidates going to a website applying for a job. So it's dras drastically decreasing when compared to, you know, recruiters reaching out to you to to uh, join their company. Basically, recruit and recruit, recruitment became like a sales. You know, they wanted to sell their company, sell their company to the you know candidates to come and join join to them, right? So now a typical recruitment process is like uh, there will be a requirement to hire two or three engineers. So recruiter go and source the candidates through various platform. Here I I meant recruiter as you know he can be a real recruiter or a founder. Uh, who act as a recruiter as well because in early stage the found, founder has the job of recruiting as well. Also hiring manager who, who wanted to recruit, recruit people for their uh, team. Uh, they candidates, you know, LinkedIn, if, if they are recruiters, they, they source candidate from GitHub, they source candidate from, you know, uh, through Stack for, for wherever, wherever the, you know, the developer communities live. Now, once they, once they, you know, build a pipeline, they want to reach out to the candidates now. Right, so they reach out to various uh, medium. Right, uh, example, uh, they reach out through email. They reach out through LinkedIn again. They they make connection request and they they, they ask them to you know. Uh, yeah, so they they ask them to join the company. Right, so okay, so now. Uh, there, there are a lot of, and then, and then the, the actual entry process take place, and then you know they have to do the debriefing, and then they have to release the offer. There are a lot of tools in middle, right? There is no single tool which helps recruiter to do the job. So there is a lot of gaps between you know each each space, right? So Kula is here to to fill the space. So we wanted to build an end-to-end recruitment automation solution, which helps recruiters to do the outbound recruiting very easily. So what are we doing? This is, this is all about Kula. So let me take through two different modules which we have built and we, we get to a customer and I'm going to explain what each module is doing. So this is called circles. Circles help, helps you unlock the power of internal networks. Example, let's say you are a team of five, six engineers. So you, you started building a company, right? So imagine each one in their, in their connections. So totally like, you know, 5 into 200 totally, there are 1,000 thousand connections in your networks. So you can able to, you know, uh, uh, search through the networks out, out of the 1,000 and you can able to build their pipeline very fast, right? So not only that, you can build the pipeline and we have the next module called Outreach. So how do you reach a candidate? Uh, through email, through LinkedIn, through, you know, through LinkedIn uh, email message and you give a connection request. So we automate the entire process, how do you reach a candidate? So you have to configure the steps here. Maybe the first, first day you have to send an email, and then you know, if, they, if they didn't respond, you have to send uh, you know, an email request. And then the third, if, if they didn't respond to the email, give a connection request. 
So, so you can able to you know set up all the uh, automation in the outreach and you have to just start adding candidates and Kula will take care of everything. We will give you the stats of each and every steps how the things is performing. Let's say whether the candidate opened the email, whether you know whether they click they click the link in, in the email and you know whether the email is bounced, whether they are interested or not. We will we'll give, give you the stats of each and every step in the in the outreach. So so before uh, uh, start talking about how we build the product, uh, so I want to talk about the product principle which we which we you know uh, built before deciding the tech choices. So we wanted to delight our customers in in each and every way. So also we wanted to move fast and reflect. If you see our design, we we gave very high importance to to the design because there are there are recruiters are using four to five different tools to for their day to day life. But we wanted to bring everything in a single uh, single product, right? So recruiters are going to use this product day to day. So we want them to enjoy using the product. That's why we, we started giving lot of importance to the design. So the next set of uh, factors which we consider when we make the decision, right? So we we wanted to check how good is the team, how good, let's say if we choose any framework, how good our founding team in that particular framework. How much your confidence on releasing that particular framework to production? Also, let's say how much community support you can get from the framework. So these are the five principles which we, which we thought of before making the decision. So based on the decision, uh, based on the uh, principle which we have, we choose this as our tech stack. So we choose React and Redux for building our framework. So why? So all our founding engineers has a very good experience in building you know react application for in, in production grid and we choose chakra ui to as our design system uh, chakra ui gave us a flexibility to to uh, you know customize the design for our need which helped us to uh, move things fast and uh, we used playwright to write our end to end test cases we gave very high importance to playwright i mean writing end to end test cases from our in early stages so there is a general myth stating, you know, if you have test case, if you have end-to-end -end test case in your in your uh, workflow, it will slow down your workflow. But that's that's not really true. The benefits of end-to-end -end test case will compound over the time. So it's it's advised to have test cases in in your early stages, but you will start feeling the advantages when when you start adding a lot of modules. Also, it give you the confidence of releasing the uh, you know releasing the product to production. So even in the early stage. We started having a proper dev staging and production environment. Though we wanted to move fast, but still, even in the early stage, we started having this kind of setups to make sure we don't want to stuck at end of end of the life. So whenever we make any changes, we test it in dev. Once that passed, we move to staging. We run we, uh, we run all the end-to-end -end test cases in staging. If everything goes fine, we make a, a build and we, we keep it ready for production build. The production build is a manual one till that everything is automated. So we heavily used CI/CD. Uh, uh, we heavily used GitHub Actions to configure our CI/CD. Next, so uh, our engineers are not just you know building the product, shipping to production, but we own the outcome of what we built. So we measure the impact of what we have built uh, over the time. So we used Datadog, Microsoft Clarity, and Sentry to to measure the impact of what we have built in our product. So we have to know uh, when things is not working as well as when thing is working, right? If something is not working, you have to act on the things, and you have to, you know, uh, if something is not working, right? So you have to, you know, get in touch with the customer. You have to know why this thing is not working, why you are not using this, you know, particular feature, and you have to come up with an alternate solution. Executing fast is a very key things for any startup to get succeed. As I said, we wanted to move fast. At the same time. Uh, we made some trade off during our uh, process so we had our five principle we we chose our tech stack you know but still during our process we felt you no know, we we need to change our tech stack so this is also very important you have to be open you know, to make changes to a tech stack so two uh, examples so the initial choices uh, were to use tailwind to build on product but when within a week we came to know that tailwind is not going to help us to move fast because tailwind is a utility css but we want to build each and every component on top of it definitely that's going to slow our process 
So the moment we felt it, we just shifted back to Chakra UI and you know, uh, we, we, we customized Chakra UI heavily for our design system and you know, which helped us to move fast. Also one more advantage, uh, if, you, if, you, if you wanted to build a component using Tailwind, you have to write all the unit test cases for the components, but Chakra UI had a very good test coverage, so that which, which helped us to remove the unit testing part from our, unit testing the components from our you know, development workflow. And the second thing is using you know, Redux for our extension. So we, we have a, a Chrome extension which run on top of LinkedIn, uh, Gmail, GitHub, which helps the recruiter to source you know, candidates very easily. So initially we thought uh, the extension was going to be very minimal and we don't want any state management. So we went with you know, bare minimal React state. But in the, in the middle, we came to know that we need a state management for, you know, for the extension. We got a lot of feature requests from the recruiters and you know, from the customers and we started adding a lot of features on top of it. Later we realized we need a proper state management tool for, for our extension also. So the moment we felt that we need a state management tool, we just went ahead and we added Redux for our application. Yeah, with this, uh, with this we, we, we took 120 days to ship our product to live and we gave to customer and customers are using it. We are regularly collecting feedbacks and, and iterating on top of it. So what we wanted to do next, so we are, we, are, we are moving out of beta and we are going towards GA, which means we wanted to give our product to a lot of customers. So we wanted to uh, you know, think back and what we wanted to do for our 0 0.5 to 1 journey. So we are, we are looking forward to do a lot of uh, you know, steps on top of stability, stability of the product. So what, what is the thing we wanted to do? These are the top items, we have lots of things, but these are the top items which we wanted to do immediately. So we want to have a unified design system for web extension and mobile. So though we have, though Kula is a single product, but recruiters use this in three different platforms. So one web, two the Chrome extension, which the, which helps to serve candidates, you know, in different in different uh, platform and a mobile application, which we are going to build in in next quarter. So we wanted to uh, we wanted the recruiter to feel that they are using a single product rather than using three different products, right? So we wanted to have a unified design system uh, so that the recruiter you know, feel that they are using single product. And we wanted to invest heavily in our front-end platform. Front-end platform includes, we wanted to you know, uh, have a proper uh, CICD setup. We have a CICD setup, but we wanted to make, uh, have a very mature CICD. And we wanted to uh, invest much in uh, uh, our testing infrastructure because our test, test cases are getting increased. It, it's getting delayed in the, in the CA. So we wanted to improve the testing infrastructure. Also, we wanted to have you know uh, server-side rendering for our application to improve the performance. Of course, we wanted to give back to the community. We we took a lot of things from the community to build the product uh, uh, from the scratch. Without community, I don't think this is possible. So we want to give back to the community. So to keep it simple, what we did: uh, define your product principle. So this is for any any product which you wanted to build from zero to one. Define your product principle, take decision based upon your product principle, keep your tech stack very minimal and build things fast and measure the impact of what you build from the customer and iterate over things. So once you start iterating, once you, once you have a lot of customers, then you can bring in a lot of you know, tech things on top of it. And with this, I'm, I'm ending my talk. Uh, so we, we, we are, uh, uh, we are to you know, shaping the you know, future of recruiting and we are hiring engineers and you know if you have any one of you interested in to know more about Kula, what we are doing, what's our tech stack, so I am here and my CTO is here, just come and say hi to us. Thank you guys. Thanks so much Raja. Any questions? Maybe one question from me. Yeah. What, what are you using for uh, sourcing candidates? We use sourcing. Well, I mean, can you reframe the question? No, sorry. What are you using to find candidates when you're hiring? Okay. So, Kula. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we use our own platforms to source the candidate. So yeah. So through our own uh, internal, I mean, circles, and even our customers like OGP, made, they made their first hire, you know, uh, using our product. That's great. All right. Thanks, everyone, for making it. Um